probably doesn't do that though mm -hmm. is our next guest who is a relationship expert <laughs> and a very cool guy who's that's always right. bringing good information and content to the show. Mm -hmm. That's and, right. Uh, Mike, nice to have you with us. Oh, it's always having here. fun. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I love it when you come on the show because you're always giving us really good information. Right. Well, Mike Lindstrom has been here a couple times if you've missed him before. Yes. He's got a really cool website too you have to check out where you can ask questions to guys yep. and they answer back. Right. right. He's kind of like the... Uh, what every woman really wanted to know. The sounding board. From a guy. I mean, yeah. so I love it. We, you know, two, two real guys telling how it is. Ask Dan and Mike is our website. So right. feel free to, you know, ask us any questions. We'll always be here for you as your relationship experts, of all course. Right. Well, well, good. Thanks. So here's Welcome. a couple Absolutely. things. First of all, you say when it comes to date nights, yep. um, and we're going to get to some do's and don'ts on date nights mm -hmm. in a minute, but you say it's important to map that out and make it a regular thing. Yeah, well, it's important, number one, have a date night. There's yeah. a lot of couples <laughs> that don't even have a date night. No. I'm okay. serious. The majority of couples don't have a standing date night. Right. So to, to set the table is have something that's reoccurring. I have a lot of our clients that have it, you know, every Thursday night or every Monday night or, you know, every Saturday afternoon. They do something that's on the calendar. It doesn't have to be every week, by the way. You have kiddos. Yeah. You have, you know, three or four kids. It's a little tougher, but at least you have something on the calendar to look forward to. We've actually started doing that, and I think mentally what it's done is separate us from our kids to where we go, mm -hmm. hey, remember when we were actually right. a couple? Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, you're absolutely right, because we do. As you get married and you, get, you, you grow into the marriage, the law of familiarity kicks in. Yeah. You're not doing the things you used to do when you mm -hmm. were in that courting phase. Right. So it's nice to go back to some of those courting exercises. So now you're out on a date with your wife. Do you kiss her if she's sick? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm with, I'm with Daph. I'm with Daph. Yeah, my my wife and I on. definitely, I get, I get, I get yeah. the hands up in the air. I was going to die about that. Like, no, <laughs> you, get the, you get the hug that turns uh -huh, in? No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like this, you turn the face. <laughs> yeah. get totally disrespected, yeah. So there, there is, so when it comes to that, so you're saying definitely yep. date nights, which is good because, you know, especially when you have kids and you have a family, yep. you definitely don't want to do that. Okay, yep. so when it comes to the don'ts, okay. um, what are some of the things that we should not do. Okay, don't, you know, first of all, technology has totally changed the game. This text messaging, dodge yeah. the phone. Literally turn off the phone, leave it in the car. Yeah. You even bring it with you, you're gonna have a tendency to maybe look at it, one person gets up to go to the bathroom. So the text message you get on the phone, you gotta get off the phone. That's okay. the number one thing. So when you're together, you're together, period. Period. Yeah. And that's a big deal. But you're not present with people if you're sitting there staring right. at that cell phone. That's cell phones right. anymore got everything. You got email, Facebook, sure. all the different distractions right there on a date, especially with your loved ones. Yeah. It's ridiculous. So check it out. Okay, so don't be texting. Okay. Don't be texting. When it comes to date nights, what would you recommend like a couple who's been married yeah. for like 20 years. What is a fun date night? I mean, seriously, what my, can you discover? My number one favorite date night is to pretend as if you just met. Yeah. It, okay. It's not role playing. That's not what this is. You actually go out and you so say. So you're not changing your name and your no, hair. No, color. no, no, no. I yeah. mean, hey, there's a, there's a segment of our, of our clients that oh, actually well, yeah, will could. Yeah. dress up a little bit and act like a different character if you want to sure. play that. You put a wig on or something. That's right. cool if you're into that. <laughs> That's cool. But, but actually going out and actually like you met for the first time. So if we were out, I'd say, so, hey, Daph, what's up? Uh huh. Just literally <laughs> play it like, as if. Okay, I'd be like, hi, yeah. how are you? And, what it's, what's and cool. she would be that geeky because she's been married for a long time. She has no idea how to pick a man up Totally. Anymore. The best part about it, though, is it, spend, it suspends reality. People are more comfortable yeah. when they're in that hypothetical realm. Right. Uh -huh. So when you can kind of pretend like it's something from 5, 5 10, 15, 20 years ago, and you both roll with it, don't right. break character. Uh -huh. and even at the end of the night, we've had clients go all the way to the end of the night, kiss the wife at the door, and uh. walk away. Oh, mm. that's kind of nice. See, yeah, I love a, that. You put little teasers in there sure. throughout the date night. So mm -hmm. I think you got to spice it up a little bit. That's okay. one of the big things. Okay, okay. what's Thanks. another do for you? Another do, uh, first of all, I believe chivalry is not dead. Um, uh, technology, you got the key fobs now. Right. Open the door for the ladies. Right. You know, open the door at the restaurant. You know, I actually saw at the restaurant the other night, a guy actually did the Harvard hop where the gal got up from the dinner table right. and he actually stood up and honored the fact that she got it from the dinner table. Isn't that nice? People love don't do that, that anymore. Oh, oh, I haven't seen that a long I time. I love that. Yeah. First, I love yeah. that. Yeah. I how often was, do you see the Harvard Hop? I was on right, a date right. one time where, uh, where they did that, and the guy went, where are they going? What right. are going on? You're supposed to get up. That's right. are getting up. That's yeah. right. Yeah. So j being a gentleman, that's a big thing. Okay. Um, and also, you know, I, I have this thing about asking a lot of questions and staying on positive subjects. Uh, you don't want to go on your date night and talk about all the issues from the week, especially right. if you're married or if you're in a relationship, you have kids. You want to gear all of your subjects around positive things. What was great about this week? What are you looking forward to? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that vacation in a year. Keep the subject matter very positive, but also as you're throughout the date night, offer just a little bit of suggestion. Mm -hmm. How the date, maybe some requests of what you want the, now you know, want the night to end, yeah. whether it be romance or intimacy. That's kind of nice because when you've been married for a long time, uh, yeah. you know, things get a little bit like, boring, predictable. Yeah. It's yeah. It's, so if you changed it up a little bit, I'm sure mm -hmm. your date would be like, you said you want a what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're like, yeah, I said that. You know what I do? <laughs> I don't introduce my... Uh, 
um, when, when we're out on mm -hmm. a date, I don't introduce him as my husband. I introduce him as my boyfriend. I like that. Yeah, do you really cool. do that? I absolutely do. I'm, I'm ripping that yeah. one off. Mm -hmm. I like that. It's a good I one. Like it's that sweet. Lot. That'll be in the paper tomorrow that you were out with your boyfriend. <laughs> That's right. But he really is my husband. No, I like that. I like yeah. that. But it does. Yeah. It creates this variety. Mm -hmm. Variety is the spice of life. It's one of the basic human needs we have. And if you're if you're constantly thinking about variety, and that that's as simple as the places you go. Yeah. If you're always going to the same restaurant, mix it up. It doesn't always have to be expensive. It can be something that's fun and unique. Going on a walk in the yeah. middle of a Saturday afternoon, just talking. Very okay. cool. So, Mike, Mike, it's always fun when you're I always here. have fun. We Thank you so much. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Some good advice there. Good as advice. Always, thanks. So, um, you know what? I think we are going to be getting ready to go to a break here pretty soon. Yeah, we're going to talk about what's mm -hmm. on Facebook with some of the people.